I'm thinking, holy crap, we're gonna get arrested. And okay, so story time. Um, this one time my husband and I, we were friends at the time. We only knew each other for like a month and a half. Something like that. I don't really remember. Um, but we met up at Letchworth Park because it was right down the street from where I went to school. And it's this super beautiful waterfalls everywhere, trains going above. Love trains. And, um, we meet up. We're just wandering around taking fun photos, going on the jungle gym, even though there's toddlers, like, that are judging us. Um, well, their mothers were judging us, let's be honest. And, um, we're wandering around and we're going down this path and we see this sign that's like, don't go on to bedrock, uh, riverbed type thing. And Mike's like, but that's the bedrock. This is different. So we can go down here, but the tree with the sign on it, I just feel like it means like, don't go past that tree, bro. Like, if it says don't go here on this tree, I just think don't go past that tree. And the tree is right on the edge of like this little hanging part, like a cliff, not cliff because it's not like thousands of feet. But I mean like there's a good five foot drop or something. So you kind of have to jump down or like step like awkwardly down the side of this little thing. So Mike's like, no. The sign is saying don't go over there because if you do then you're gonna die because the river will take you especially if it's like overflowing like big rain or whatever so I'm like okay I guess we can adventure and let's be honest it's just because I liked him I had a crush so that's why I went along with it because I didn't want to be a Debbie Downer nobody wants to be a Debbie Downer so we walk down this little area and then of course Mike being a show off and a daredevil was all like I want to walk on this rock anyways and there's like some really cool areas and I have my fancy camera so I'm taking pictures and um I'm just like yeah you shouldn't be over there I'm pretty sure that's not allowed we're going to get in trouble so I'm freaking out like super anxious like mm mm nope not feeling good so we're like 15 feet apart because he's over there like look at this I'm over here right next to the water uh, and I'm like yeah I must stay over here and then um there a cop car goes past and I don't see it because again I'm next to this thing with the tree line and um Mike goes oh <laughs> uh, cop just drove past and I'm like what are you kidding so I get all nervous and I'm standing next to this little cliff area and I'm just like Meh. so then Mike comes over closer to me and the guy the cop must have heard me like it, um, wandering like stepping like crunching leaves branches whatever and he comes up above me because I'm like five feet below normal level and he just looks down get up here now and I'm just looking up at, th at this police officer like oh my god I cannot get arrested right now I cannot cannot get arrested right now I need to go to school tomorrow like I have class I have homework to do tonight I cannot be in jail so we walk up we follow this guy to his car he's like Ugh! and um then he asks Mike for his license and I don't have mine so multiple levels of freaking out so I'm silently standing there like, no, well, I didn't have my hands up. You know, I'm just like, but inside my brain, I was like, it's fine. You're, you're a good person. You have nothing on your record. You're just, just going to let you go. My parents are going to kill me. You're going to be okay because you're fine. You're, you're a good person. What would my dog think? I was in jail. Jesus loves me this I know. I am a good person. Mike's over here getting questioned out by the window. Like the guy, um, the guy sitting in the driver's seat of his car and he's putting all these things in the, in his computer. Then they turn to me and I'm like, oh, you're asking me questions now. Great. So, um, they're like, you don't have your license? I'm like, no. 
I just, I went from the dorm to the park. Like, what did I, why did I need it for? So, um, then he's like, all right, what's your full name? So I'm like, Victoria Lynn Walker. And I'm like, huh? and, um, it's like, wait, your middle name's Lynn. And Mike's like, you're the same middle name as me. I'm like, wait, your middle name's Lynn. I'm like, I should have been listening because I could have known that if I had read, like, oh, he's reading off his license. He's like, this is your name, right? And I would have heard that if I was not out of the zone completely. Just, um, so we're just like, oh, that's awkward. And then the cop goes like, are you two dating? Oh, no, no, like, we're, we're not, we're not dating. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> and of course, it's super awkward because I like him, he likes me, but we're not going to tell each other that. Then he's like, oh, you're not dating, so you're strangers. And we're like, no, we're friends. Like, we've, we've met each other before in another place, and then we came and hang out to hang out here. We've known each other for a while, like, a little while. It's like, oh, I'm like, how? Okay, so you can either be strangers or dating. There's no in between or there's no, there's nothing else. And we're just like, bro. And when this guy is, um, he lets us off with a warning. He's super nice. And he's like, just don't do that again. Like pay attention to the signs where there are signs. Don't go past whatever. And the guy pulls off and we're just like, <sighs> and we, we just start laughing at each other. Like, wait, are we dating or are we strangers? And <laughs> just the whole rest of the day, we're like, you're a stranger, because we're not dating, so we're strangers. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we went on with our normal life, and we're just freaking out the whole rest of the day, because we were pretty sure we were going to get arrested, because I'm pretty sure when you break the rules in a state park, you're breaking, like, a, a really intense law. I don't really understand it. But, um, yeah, if you break rules in the state park, you're in a lot of trouble. So, um, luckily this cop was nice and let us go without arresting us, so... Aren't you gonna cuff me? Put me in a choco? Blind me with pepper spray? Yeah, that's how we learned that we had the same middle name. And that's how we told everyone. Oh yeah, we have the same middle name. Did you ever hear the story of, um, how we learned how we have the same middle name? So yes, that does indeed mean that every, all parts of our names except our first names are the same. Michael Lynn gone. Victoria Lynn gone. It's quite beautiful, honestly. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stick around on my page for more stories. It is a fun life and I would love to share it with you. So subscribe, like this video if you liked our story, and um, again, happy birthday to my wonderful husband.